Well, hello everybody, I am Spectacular, the Silver Stackler, and I have a story for you. I have the Carson City Morgan Dollars right here, the 2021s, and I did not get these directly from the U.S., man. I was sent these by a viewer who said, hey, I got some if you want some, and I never was able to purchase the Carson Cities, so now I have a complete set, so thank you to that viewer. Um, goes by the name of Aaron or A. Aaron, just for fun for the rest of this video, so thank you, A. Aaron. And I tell you what, Something's wrong with one of these coins, and you are not going to believe what it is. So stay with me as we talk about a crazy story from the U.S. Mint. So... <laughs> Something's wrong with one of these. First of all, you know that I have unboxed uh, my rest of my Morgan dollars, and I've been labeling them with the problems, you know, eyes, scratch, um, scratches on the uh, obverse. I have uh, spots on the reverse. I've been trying to put them in separate, you know, little stacks right here so I can try to figure out what's going on. I had a lot of people reach out to me too, um, asking me if I have any extras. Just bear with me on those requests because I'm trying to, to get through them. Um, it's, it's been a, it's been a, uh, a nightmare trying to trying to figure out what's wrong with all these coins. Um, a lot of people are reporting problems. Uh, some people are reporting that they all got, got all good ones too. So don't think that just you know my problems exist and everybody's having problems out there. Some people are getting really good ones. I have a stack of good ones too. Uh, but so A. A. Ron sent me these right here, and what A. A. Ron did unfortunately is he took these directly from the mint box and it took you know took them out and uh, separated all his different Morgans. And he said, hey, Spag, I have two Carson Cities I can sell you. And I said, please. And he sent them in to me, another box, and sent them on their way. Did not open them, unfortunately. So when I got one of the boxes right here, I opened it up today from USPS. I got, you know, right in the, right in the car. I was, like, looking at them. And I heard the, <laughs> the same sound that I heard when I unboxed all of mine, that rattling sound. Um, I've already since fixed the problem, but you know, rattling like crazy inside. And I was like, oh no. So I opened the box up and I'm not sure which box now has this particular problem that I'm about to tell you, but I opened the box up and lo and behold, the coin was sitting outside of the capsule. And really what happens is this capsule right here becomes undone and the coin for some reason sits about here with the bottom capsule still stuck in this little ring and it slides back and forth against the top of that capsule and this little foam cardboard thingy. Uh, it's probably not good for the coin. I didn't notice any damage, luckily, but a lot of people are reporting that. Now, for fun, I decided to actually take a coin out for this video of this whole unboxing here, take it out of the capsule, and jokingly, I had said, uh, hey, this is you know going to be easy, no problem. These things are not that big of a deal. Let's take a razor blade and crack it open. What you didn't see is I actually had to pause the video and maybe it took me like two minutes to actually get that thing open uh, because you open one side and the other side wants to close. It's, it's kind of a nightmare, these capsules. So which tells me the United States Mint is not doing a good job at pressing their little fingers around, make sure these capsules are fully closed because these things are really, really tight, actually. Uh, much tighter than most airtights, it seems. Um, I've seen other videos where people are like, oh, I got to take it out of the capsule to really show you guys. And they have to actually edit and pause their video. I can tell right away that they had to stop it. So I think that's kind of funny. Um, but the coin was out. But then I decided to inspect the reverse because now this is a Carson City, right? So I really want to make sure that those you know, Carson City uh, privy marks are on there. Not the Met mark because, it, you know, Carson City's closed up. They closed up shop. The actual privy mark on the reverse. So what I found was interesting. Now this is the actual Carson City right here. And I want to show you that right there by the little CCs. And all they are is kind of in a circle. Okay, no big deal. But what I found on the other coin was very shocking. And let me take that out. Again, I didn't know which one was which. I'm just kind of going through these now. Again, let me put this back in the box for the sake of uniformity here. Boom, boom, boom. And now this was interesting. Now this right here says the 2021 Morgan Dollar Carson City. Wait until you see this from the United States Mint, just like the other one. We're gonna open the box. This thing was loose, by the way, loose inside of the case. 
And I wish AA Ron, you know, it probably would have uh, helped everything out if he had just looked at the coin. So make sure you look at your coins, ladies and gentlemen. Actually open them up and inspect them. Here it was, 2021 Morgan Dollar Carson City. Um, of course, it was not backwards in the case. It was actually forwards. And you can see it's actually kind of loose right now. But let's see. It said 2021. Okay, no big deal. A little schmutz on the case. That comes with it. That's included. But now look at this little situation. When I flipped it over, this is what I saw. I was like, wait a minute. I rubbed my eyes and I looked. It's an O. It wasn't a Carson City. It was a New Orleans coin. And this was crazy. And actually, some more story about A.A. Ron is he was willing to offer me these Carson Cities because the United States Mint had messed up his order and given him too many Carson Cities. And the next day, when they gave him more coins, they gave him seven Carson Cities. Make sure you look at your coins because it looks like the United States Mint very well have messed up and gave the wrong coins out. Um, that's crazy to me. And I'm actually hearing more of these stories. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on in social media where people are saying, hey, I got the wrong coins. And I, for the most part, I had assumed that what they were talking about was complete, like, different, like, sets, like the wrong box. I didn't even consider that they could put the actual wrong coin in the wrong box, which tells me <laughs> that... There was one packaging area, maybe, right? So instead of it being packaged and put together all at the same mint, it was actually minted in Philadelphia. And what they did was just put all those coins in a big, like, warehouse and then just have the correct boxes, hopefully, and we're just putting the coins in the correct box. Um, maybe. Or maybe that's not what they did. I don't know. <laughs> I was joking with somebody else, and I said, man... The way this whole thing's been working out, I, I feel like they, they are from China. I feel like it's just a big warehouse in China that the U.S. Mint contracted to, to get their silver from and, and put these together because this is a mess, like a real mess. So um, I found that very interesting and scary at the same time. So I don't need another or New Orleans, so I reached back out to AA Ron, and I'm like, hey, buddy, um, I don't want this. <laughs> i got to send it back. But yeah, just moral of the story is, man, look at your coins and make sure because that's scary. Now... Just to play devil's advocate a little bit, um, I don't know AA Ron like you know very well. He's just reached out to me. He was real cool to send these out. Um, I didn't even pay for them until he actually they actually arrived to me. So um, he was a pretty good, trustworthy seller in that aspect. And uh, I gotta say that that's appreciated for sure. AA Ron, greatly appreciate you. Even though I'm just you know having fun with your name, I hope you appreciate that. You know I was a trustworthy guy in that aspect. Uh, but you know devil's advocate. Um, a. a Ron could have known and he could have switched the coins and tried to get rid of a New Orleans and you know that's that's all possible right let's let's try to let's try to play that field um, but with that same you know look um, I could be making a video now and uh, have switched the coin and try to pull one over a. a Ron and kept his his other coin uh, you know like so I just want to throw that out there as a possibility right because um, we don't know each other me and a. a. Ron so any one of us could have been bad people. But uh, A.A. Ron, in my opinion, beyond that being a devil's advocate there for a moment, I think he's a good dude, and he literally just got the wrong coin. And from what I'm seeing on social media with other people saying that same thing, uh, I think that that's going on. I think people are getting the wrong coin. So inspect your coins. Make sure you're getting the right one. I got to send this back to A.A. Ron because I don't need another New Orleans, especially one in... Uh, uh, wolf packaging, <laughs> aka Carson City packaging. I can't do anything with this thing. So I got to send it back. Be careful. Look at your coins. I thought that's crazy that this is happening. But anyways, um, I got to go for now. Just kind of a public service announcement to uh, really, really be careful with your coins. But uh, thanks again to AA Ron for getting me one good coin. I greatly appreciate it. That at least make me a set. And that was really my goal all along is to have that one set. I got to go for now. Spectacular. Appreciate you. This guy. And I'm out.